Welcome to the Positive Productivity Podcast, Episode 257. The Positive Productivity Podcast was created to empower entrepreneurs to achieve and appreciate personal and professional success. I'm your host, Kim Sutton, and if you're ready, let's jump into today's episode. Earlier this week, I did something huge in my life and in my business, and all it involved was pushing the delete key. Okay, well, it took a little bit more than just pushing the delete key, but in essence, what it did was purge a tremendous lot of pressure from my life. If you've been listening to the podcast for a while, you've heard me talk about how my MacBook memory was absolutely full because I had so many podcasts downloaded to listen to that I could barely even do work on it. Every time I heard about a new podcast that sounded interesting, I would subscribe. And by earlier this week, I was subscribed to 200, if not more, podcasts. Even on the most listening intensive days, I might have been able to listen to 20 episodes at two times speed, but I had to try to keep up to that in order to have any free space available on my computer to work. While I learned so much and was introduced to so many amazing people, some of whom I reached out to and have even lined up or have already had on the podcast, the pressure was becoming overwhelming. I wanted to know that I could take my laptop anywhere that I needed to go and I would be able to download images or I would be able to download files from clients and it just wasn't working that way anymore. So while I was sitting here earlier this week looking at the ever-present Your MacBook Memory is Full pop-up, I realized I had to make a change. I didn't want to listen to a podcast. I wanted to listen to relaxing meditations or music that I so badly missed because I wasn't allowing myself to listen to it. And that's not how it should be. When I'm working, I should be able to listen to whatever I want, especially considering I am in my own home and I am my own boss. For 20 minutes, I went through my podcast library and iTunes, and I started slowly unsubscribing from the podcasts, which weren't making the biggest impact on me. I realized there were some I tended to roll my eyes about when I got to them, or others that I would fast forward through, or just some that I felt were getting overly promotional and way too full of sponsorships and ads. And I started unsubscribing and deleting from library. By the end of the day, I had freed up half of my hard disk space by eliminating at least 2,000, and that's an at least, at least 2,000 unlistened episodes from my podcast library. It felt amazing. I had purged the pressure of listening to podcasts just because I had overcommitted myself. As the week has gone on, I've realized that I have overcommitted myself and put tremendous pressure on myself in so many other areas of my life as well. And I've made a commitment to myself to start purging the pressure in those areas as well. I'm unsubscribing to newsletters because some of them I was just holding on to the subscription because I wanted to see how they did the marketing. And that reason is no longer good enough. I don't need to be tempted by offers to buy the latest and greatest program or service. I don't need to spend time going through and deleting all these unnecessary emails every morning or afternoon. What I need to do is purge the pressure. Today, I want to encourage you to purge the pressure from your own life. What have you committed to, even if it's not a person, it's just an activity Because perhaps you weren't thinking about how all these little commitments would add up to something big in the future, but now they're just overwhelming. How can you purge the pressure and delete these activities? I would love to hear how you are purging the pressure for yourself. So please head on over to thekimsutton.com forward slash PP257 and let me know in the comments area below the show notes. I look forward to seeing what your responses are. And with that said, go forth and make it a positive and productive day. Today's episode of the Positive Productivity Podcast is brought to you by the Positive Productivity Pod. 
created to empower entrepreneurs to achieve and appreciate personal and professional success without burnout, the pod offers weekly group coaching sessions, online courses, a private member community, and tons more. To learn more about the pod and to sign up, visit positiveproductivitypod.com. See you on the inside.